Hello ladies and gentlemen, Monty Pizzle here, and today I'm bringing a long-awaited video. I'm going to show you how to actually add friends to your Minecraft server. The reason I haven't been making videos is because my old microphone was absolutely awful and the quality was just not what I wanted it to be for YouTube videos. I know if I was going to be popular you'd still watch them, however, I would rather you guys have high quality content than any at all. But anyway, let's get right into this because I know most of you have been waiting a long time. So first things first, you're going to go and need to just go to these two websites right here. You need to go to minecraft.net slash download slash server. All the links will be in the description. And go ahead and download this little minecraft.jar. And then you're going to need to download Hamachi. You click on this. I will link that as well. And you're going to need to open it, and I will do a tutorial on that for the second half of the video. But first off, let's go ahead and download the Minecraft.jar. So basically, what this does is allows you to actually make your server. I know I already have a Minecraft server tutorial, however, it has changed minutely, and you will probably need to uh, see this new video because it has changed a little bit since the old versions. Um, you're going to name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it server2 because I have a lot of Minecraft servers on my thing. Wait for that to be done. Go ahead and drag that to your desktop. Put that in your folder. Go ahead and minimize. Open this up. And you've got yourself a Minecraft server. Dot one dot one dot one blah blah blah. Anyway, you're going to want to open that. Wait a couple of seconds. Okay, it's going to say whatever that is. You need to open this, right click it, make sure it's highlighted in blue, right click it, click on edit, change this false to true, like so. Hit control and S, and then go ahead and exit out of that, and now you can actually set it up. <clears throat> now, re-click it, it'll actually open up everything you need this time. I don't know why firewall blocks stupid shit like that, but you know. Anyway, it's done now. It prepared it. Now go ahead and just type in stop in the console and it'll close everything for you. And you've got your world preferences here. So now what you're going to need to do is go ahead, right click on here, click on new, and then click on text document. And go ahead and edit that text document. So now what you're going to need to do is go back to your handy dandy Minecraft website and um, copy this. Control C and then Control V. Put that right in there and you've got yourself your first start of code for your Minecraft server. Now I prefer to have a GUI so I take out the no GUI. Um, now what you're going to do is find out how much RAM you have on your computer and if you can't then I would just suggest doing two because um, most laptops and you know business class computers only have two or four so I would just go ahead and put in 2G and then you'll be hooked up for your server it can't handle very many people but it can handle you know as many friends as you have because for um, sucky purposes you can only have five people on your Hamachi server unless you want to pay and if you don't have um, CenturyLink internet you can actually use your modem but I can't do that because my modem won't allow me and I have tried but CenturyLink does not like servers so if you have CenturyLink use Amachi if not look up another video in fact I can maybe even link you to somebody else's video I'll uh, do my best to do that so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up this new text document copy this code in here and then change it to whatever you have now I have 16 gigabytes so I'm just gonna put in 4 gigabytes because I have noticed after all of my years literally of making Minecraft servers that it does not change after going about 4 gigabytes it really just doesn't unless you have like 10 million people in that case you need a lot more than that but anyway you're gonna need to go ahead and change your Minecraft underscore server to whatever this is named right here now I'm just gonna rename it to Minecraft 
Oh man, my spelling is bad today. Minecraft underscore server. That way I won't have to rename it. It's already .jar, it's just the file name. You don't have to put that in there. And it should run at this moment. Now the only thing you need to do is click on file, save as, click this right here and change it to all files and then launch.bat. Now when you open up your file, you should see a little cog wheel right there. It'll show up as a little batch file. And now you can launch your Minecraft server via this command. Yes, I already said allow access. Stupid firewalls. Anyway, as you notice, oh, excuse me, it launched way quicker. So now you've got or four or two as many gigabytes of dedicated WAM as you need for your Minecraft server. So basically, you can go ahead and close this as we are done here. Now, the second half of the video, I'm going to show you how to use Hamachi. So first things first, go and download Hamachi. It's this link right here. It automatically downloads it. I'm going to cancel it because I already have it on my computer and I don't want a bunch of crappy files, but it automatically downloads it. If you click on the link right here, just type this in. But if you really need to, I will also link you to the main website where you can also click the little download button that's right here. That'll pop up in a minute. Never mind. This is a support, but I will look, hook you up to the right website. Well, um, that's basically that. Now let me show you how to use the software. Once you boot it up, you're going to need to make an account and make sure you have a password and then go ahead and make sure it's open, make sure it's powered on, and then go ahead and open it. It's going to be this little window right here. That's all it is. So basically you're going to need to make sure this is clicked on. This is, I can power it off. I'll show you what it looks like when it's off is it'll be gray. If it's gray, no one's going to be able to join. Make sure it's orange, yellow, whatever. So once it probes and it gets onto the actual server, you can then invite people to join your server. So basically, you go to um, uh, manage manage networks. Uh, no, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm an idiot. Basically, you there's a button here. Where is it? System network. Oh, okay. So hover over network, create a new network or join an existing network. If you're joining your friends, you're going to need to join this. But if you're making one, go ahead and create. Create the new network ID. Some of them have been used before. So make sure it's unused. I've already used Monty Pizzle once and lost the old password, so that's why I can't use it twice. Go ahead and make a nice password. I usually make mine short so people can know it easily. And then um, go ahead and create that and invite your friends to your um, little Hamachi server. They can search it up through the join an existing network and the password, and then you'll join automatically. Now, the next thing is, you're going to need to make sure that you have your um, IPv4 address. So copy that and go ahead and go to your Minecraft server settings right here. Go ahead and right click it and hit edit. And if it tells you to open with something, open it with Notepad. So basically, now you go right down here and go to where server IP is, right there. Go ahead and Control V, and there you go. Control S at the same time saves it, or you can just do File, Save, and there you go. You are now hooked up to let your friends join your Minecraft server. Now, please let me know if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for my next video, as I am really going to get into YouTube and have a normal schedule as well. And if you want to see me play any games, I'm going to start some new series as well. I'm going to do some informational Steam videos, whatnot, how to do cool stuff with Steam, um, best games to get on Steam, Counter-Strike Global Offensive stuff, um, maybe even some DayZ. It's kind of hard to do and nobody likes to play it with you and everybody hates the game, but we'll see what I can do. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and leave a like if I helped, but if I didn't help you, please dislike the video as I know that I am not doing my job correctly. I hope you enjoyed the show.